So we tried to fix this wire, but it uh, it has multiple shorts throughout it. Um, we don't. It wasn't just where we cut, so I'm gonna use this higher quality shielded cable to replace this old one. And um, I'm gonna cut off this end here and add a um, what do they call it? Solderless connection, JST connector, for to connect to the uh, Brook Universal Pipe board. nephew has uh, flat head screws in those too. I always have to use two screwdrivers when I work on his stick. There we are on the inside of his stick, and I could probably reuse this guy, but There we go, that's the correct size. So, and then I need some of these little, these little pins. And, this special tool, this crimping tool. And what this crimping tool does is it smashes these little tin pieces onto the wire. And then we fit those into this plastic housing, and that lets us fit it onto this uh, this board. This is the end we don't need. So it'll be uh, well, it'll be red, white, green, black is how it's going to go in. Just trying to show you the red, white, green, and black. I've just stripped a tiny bit off of each of them. Can we get this on? These little things need to be affixed to the end of each wire. I don't know if any of these are going to be visible on camera. It's so small. Let's try. All right. 
this is the side with the label towards you. There I've fit it in. This is the side that has the ribbon that it was cut from. And on this side, I have to make sure that I'm not crushing the connector, the head of it. I want to make sure that that's not being hit. So I push it so that it's all the way through. And the little tabs, the little wings like that, they're facing down inside this crimper. And I don't need very much stripped on the wire itself. And I just insert the wire and crimp down. Let's see. Let's see, can you see how those little tabs wrap around the plastic? With the housing uh, of the wire. And then you break these little tabs off. Okay, so now we've got these ends, these little metal ends on each one of these wires. Okay, we'll take both sides. And now we just, we're going to fit them into this. Uh, JST housing. The way these slide in is the side of the housing that has the holes on it, that's where these locking pieces go into. Now let's see. The other thing we need to look at is on the board. We've got the ground, so this will be the black one. And then over here is the volt, the V, that's the red one. So red, white, green, black. It should snap a little bit when it goes in there. There we go. Let's try and get to show you. There it is, red, white, green, black in the JST connector. And now on the board, I just have to make sure that the red one's in the right spot. There it is on the board. Okay, what if we got these all in perfect and we forgot a step? We wanted to put something on the cable before we put this on. Um, either heat shrink tubing or something similar. Well, these little tabs, you can depress those and they will slide out. These wires will slide out. And then you can uh, prop, prime back up and push them back in. Paperclip works great for this. So take a paperclip, smash these tabs in. smashed them down enough. There we go. See? They just pull right out. Okay. Okay. This is just kind of a poor man's solution I came up with. And all this is I'm putting this on for is to make something big and bulky that can't come through this slot just to hold the cable in there um, more securely. So that's all this is. Uh, it's, it's kind of cool. You thread it on and then you just uh, screw it together and it will uh, affix itself to the cables. Now it won't slide anywhere. It's just kind of a cool makeshift way to keep this cord from sliding out if it gets pulled out. I can adjust it, give myself some more slack, and then just tighten it down. I'll put a link. I'll have to look up what what these are called. It's some sort of a plumbing thing for for like well, hoses, but it works really well for this kind of a makeshift way to keep it from being pulled out. And the other thing I need to put on here before I put on the housing is some shrink tubing. Yeah, 
Yeah, that'll work right. Good. All right, before I put these back into the housing, those tabs that I smashed down with a paper clip, I have to pop them back up so that they lock into place uh, when I slide them into the housing. So I'm just using an X-Acto knife, and I'm just going to go under those little tabs and, and pop them back up just, just a little bit. These are what catch the wires to hold them into the housing when you slide them in. So they've got to be up to, to go back in to catch. Otherwise, they'll slide right back out. Okay. So now, I don't know if any of this is going to go. These little tabs are popped back up on the tops of the wires. Okay. Red, white, green, black. Press them in until they click. Now I'm back to having, um, now where I've got the strength tubing on here. So that'll be super easy to just slide up and shrink. All right, now we're going to shrink this tubing. Because of the angle it is in the stick, I'm going to also bend it while it's still warm. That way it forms just a little angle, like a little right angle, as it cools. And that's just going to help with the uh, cable management a bit. Got our shrink tubing on, got this right angle, got this little doohickey that I've still got to look up the name of it because I can't remember. Again, all this is is to keep it from being pulled out. Just a just a little safety precaution. Now we can button it up. 